There we go. It's the visual chart. I'm just really curious. Has anyone seen this yet? Hands up if you have. Not bad. The Twitters did a pretty good job of, uh, of hitting my target audience because I really care about this group. And so before I quickly just talk about this, I need to tell you a fun fact about Matt. So way back in the day, Matt and I sat beside each other. These were the days of Data Meetup just starting. I know that's a really long time ago. And I thought he was doing such a good job of these meetups and emceeing them that my nickname for him became French Shrine Seacrest <laughs> of Big Data. Uh, no, no, and so just what, let's stick on that for one minute. And the one, my one ask is if any of you feel inclined to tweet about this nickname, I'd be very appreciative. I've been hoping that this French Ryan Seacrest thing sticks with him, but um, I've been unsuc unsuccessful so far. Um, so for any of you guys who don't know me, my name's Siobhan. I work at a fund called Bloomberg Beta. Our fund focuses on world of work and future of work type investments. I focus on data and now... Uh, well, data, machine learning, and AI, but now sort of machine intelligence is the, the term du jour for just like kind of talking about that ecosystem. And so one of the things I do is I'm a, I'm a thesis-oriented investor, and so while everyone else is off being super social and at these really cool events, like for some reason, and I haven't figured out why yet, maybe I was dropped, um, I really love sitting behind a desk and just going through thousands and thousands of companies and learning about them. And so th for this landscape in particular, what I did is... Um, you know, I've spent a lot of time looking at machine learning and AI companies, and one of the things that I wanted to do was have a good taxonomy to compare against. And so I think I looked at well north of 2,000 companies to get to this, pulled it all together, and then I kind of had this in chicken scratch format for a lot of my friends. And they would say, hey, Siobhan, you know that thing you showed me? Do you mind sending it to me? That was actually super helpful. And it was, like, honestly embarrassing to share, so I figured, you know, why not clean this up a little bit if it's truly a helpful resource and just kind of send it out to the world? And so this is what I ended up coming up with. I ended up writing an article alongside it, and this is just more a reflection of the taxonomy that I had come up with internally and the ideas that I'd been having conversations about anyway. And so, you know, there are a few things that are immediately obvious. You know, A, we know there's a lot happening in the space. And by the space and, you know, with ma machine intelligence, it was less about creating a new term and more about, you know, avoiding other terms, loaded terms, like artificial intelligence. And so this kind of covers the landscape of what most people would define as machine learning or artificial intelligence. It was more just that, you know, AI, it ended up being a discussion which is like, huh, are they really an AI company? Are they really an AI company? And so I wanted the discussion to be a little bit more about the ecosystem as a whole, and this term just sort of seemed to work. Um, so clearly a lot going on. Uh, the Core Technologies Group, there's some amazing stuff happening right now. I happen to focus on applications sort of disproportionately. So it's been kind of interesting to see just how much this technology is transforming enterprise industries and, you know, even ourselves. And so the article that I've written, if this ecosystem is interesting to you, I'd recommend going to read it. Essentially what I'm covering is what the big companies are doing, what the startups are doing. It's actually an incredibly inquisitory space. So about 10% of the companies on this landscape have already been acquired. And we're seeing that pace pick up a bit. And so I kind of talk about the implications of that. And then also just thoughts for entrepreneurs that are looking to enter the space. And so on a selfish note, I would love any feedback you have, because the one thing that I've learned about the world is asking for just asking what you think about machine intelligence is not going to yield results. Doing something maybe 95% right and 5% wrong is the fastest way to learn, because people love being like, no, 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 you're wrong about that. You forgot that. Um, this is a contentious term, and so the conversations I've had in the last week since putting this out have been fantastic, and I really hope to be able to continue them with you guys. So sharing just in the event that this is a helpful resource, I'll be here. My contact information is all over this stuff, and so I'd love to just continue the conversation.